guys, today I'm gonna be doing a little waterproof makeup test. It is my last day here in Antigua, and I'm not sure what order all my videos are going up in, but I have a vlog, a swimsuit lookbook, and an outfit lookbook, and maybe like a what I ate in a week, depending on how all that footage turned out. But <laughs> it's my last day here, and I decided I should probably put some makeup on and test it. I've really gone more or less makeup free. I've worn a little bit of makeup in the evenings, but I haven't touched my foundation. I'm really just kind of like, spot concealing, doing a little bit of highlighting, eyebrow gel during the day, eyebrow gel and waterproof mascara. Oh, my waterproof mascaras over here. Everything is a mess, but I do have like a little vanity in this room, which is awesome. So um, on my face already, I'm wearing the Kula Mineral Sunscreen. This is the unscented matte tint. I had some requests for a review for this. I don't really think it warrants a full review because it really doesn't have like any coverage at all. Unfortunately, my skin is like not very happy here. I thought the sand and sun would would um, make it a little happier. But anyways, um, I'm gonna start off with foundation using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And I have a full review on this. I have like tested it out by dumping a glass of water on my face. <laughs> so if you wanna see that. I've done a few other like waterproof foundation reviews as well. Um, I did Urban Decay All Nighter, which I kinda wanna re-review that cause I didn't get a good shade for that. And then I also did the um, Makeup Forever one too. So I'll list those down below. Sorry if the lighting is weird. I, the window is right here so I'm gonna use a brush and I did a um, I already had some videos go up a what's in my travel makeup bag so if you're curious to see what I brought a little more in detail it's all in that video and then I also did a uh, toiletries bag which includes hair skin all that kind of stuff but the nice thing about waterproof makeup is like even if you're not going on a tropical vacation if you live in a humid climate or you just have oily skin or you're just looking for something long wearing if it stands up to being waterproof, I feel like that's a good test of it just being a good long wearing makeup product. So that's kind of more so while I'm why I'm doing this. I would never wear this to the beach. Some people might, but it's not really for me. And you can easily wear, you know, whatever makeup you want. I probably wouldn't wear it this heavy if I was gonna wear a full face of makeup. I would still do something much lighter coverage, but I do want kind of want to test everything out. So using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof Concealer, this is in the shade 3W Medium Warm. But this has been an awesome vacation. If you've already seen my vlog, you've seen lots of it, but we're very, very happy with our choice. So for my powders, I have two different powders I'm gonna do each half of my face. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I love the packaging on this. It has like water droplets. But then I thought my other half of my face, I would try this. It's the Essence All About Matte um, Waterproof Powder. I'm gonna do All Nighter over here. And I haven't really played with this powder much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Using this first. RMS <laughs> Magic Luminizer. This is all over the place. So I thought I would use this Magic Luminizer. Although it doesn't claim to be waterproof, I've found it to just really stick around for a long time. And the formula really just kind of sticks onto the skin. And I feel like it's the kind of thing that's nice to bring on like a beach vacation because you can wear it with no makeup. Okay, back to all nighter. And I'm gonna use it to set my whole face. I didn't bring like a specific under eye powder. I figured because these are both kind of translucent, they would work. And I'm just gonna really kind of pat it into my skin. I'm gonna clean the brush as best as I can. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do Essence. But yeah, I highly recommend Antigua. The beaches here are incredible. So um, this is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Hit Pan on this right before I came. This is one of my favorite bronzers um, outside of like just the waterproofness, the, the finish on the skin is gorgeous and it is long lasting. It's a great bronzer, it comes in quite a few shades and this is one that I recommend all the time. For blushes, I have two different blushes and neither of these claim to be waterproof but they both claim to be long wearing. So the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush and Always Spicy and the Balm and Stain Blush in Swiss Dot. So I'm gonna use both, one on each cheek, I guess. Which I guess the powder might kind of affect this, but I mean, this is not a science experiment. It's, it's a YouTube video about waterproof makeup, so. We'll still test it out. I wanna do one on each cheek. I'm honestly gonna probably wash this off after this video, because <laughs> I already hate wearing makeup. So for my highlighter, I'm gonna do the Physician's Formula butter highlight again doesn't claim to be 
uh, waterproof. I don't think I have any in my collection that claim to be waterproof, but I figured this is kind of an interesting formula and it's, you know, that tropical thing. Hello? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. For Italian? Yeah. I kind of wanted Mexican, but okay. Huh? I said I kind of wanted Mexican, but okay. Okay. I'm making reservations for dinner. What time? Are they live or something? No. No. What time? Uh, oh, great. She was like, hey, sir. No, 7 o'clock. It's like, Lydia? I was like, no. <laughs> she was like, I decided you're going to go to Lydia's 8.30 p.m. And you're like, nah. We're going to Italian. Great, thanks, Sim. Can I have the cream, maybe? Or you just bring it when you come. Oh, yeah, you can take it. Here, you take it. Um, I can bring it, but if you want it. Do you have anything on your face? No. Put something on your face, too. Okay, so I just did my brows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow. Most of their brow products claim to be waterproof, which I didn't realize in my Googling. And then I've been wearing this every single day. It's the 24-hour brow setter. Those seagulls. We're kind of close to the to the buffet. Had a lot of wine last night, too. Because they just, before you're even done, like, drinking your glass, they'll come up and refill it so you don't even realize, like, how much you're drinking. <laughs> but we haven't been drinking that much since we got here. A couple, like, daiquiris and stuff. Because we haven't actually spent a ton of time on the resort during the day. But tonight is our last night. And we, we brought our car rental in this morning. So never would I wear eyeshadow to the beach. But um, it's waterproof eyeshadow primer from NYX. And I like this one. I've, I've had this for a while. So I brought a new eyeshadow palette. Which I almost never do. But this showed up right before I left. And this is the Gen Nude Latte palette. A lot of you were super excited. I noticed in the comment section. Um, of my travel makeup video. So I'm going to use this shade Solstice here. And it's been so weird because we don't have Wi-Fi in our room. Like you can buy it, but we were like, let's not. Because like my boyfriend has his own business. I have my business and we would both just work basically. So we were like, let's not do it. So we just go get Wi-Fi. We can get a little bit of Wi-Fi like at the buffet and then even more in the lobby. So I can't check like Instagram or Twitter or anything unless I go to the lobby. Uh, so it's just been kind of nice, but it's also like I have videos go up and then I get this like crazy anxiety that like something in my video is gonna like piss the whole world off. And I'm gonna check my, my video like 12 hours later and it's just pandemonium, but that hasn't happened yet, thankfully. Some of this Firefly Gold Shade. Ooh, this palette feels crazy nice, oh yeah. Sorry if like you can't really see what's going on. It's just really hard to set up in here. But let me know where you think the most beautiful beaches are. We've had a great experience here in Antigua. Um, and then also in Curaçao, we went there last year. They had beautiful beaches too. So I brought this essence pencil, but it's pretty much dead, as I had mentioned in my makeup, bas uh, makeup bag video. So I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. I feel like eyeliners and mascaras are one of those things that most brands have kind of figured out waterproof wise. So, um, but I do have two different mascaras, the Maybelline Total Temptation and the new NYX Worth the Hype Waterproof. So Worth the Hype has been out for a while, but not the um, waterproof version. And the Total Temptation is a fave of mine, but not the waterproof. Well, not that I don't like the waterproof, but I just like the original. So this is my Maybelline eye, and then this is my NYX eye. And I do like both of them. The NYX has a bit of a strong, strong scent, I feel like. I think I'm gonna start with the NYX, I mean the, not NYX, Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been loving this. A lot of you said you like it more than the D Slick, and I think I do too. I'm gonna use the uh, Liz Wattier Lip Designer. This is a waterproof lip pencil, and then Beauty Bakery in the shade Sakura. This is one of their lip whips. Okay, so we are now here in the water at Jolly Beach. I can only open one eye because I don't have my sunglasses on, and this is day old here. But I'm gonna go ahead and dump, dunk my uh, face underwater, and then we'll. Or maybe I should splash first. Splash first? Let me just splash. Oh, I didn't really get myself. People are going to be like, what is, <laughs> what is she doing? I can't get myself in the face. How does that look, Bob? Looks amazing. Ah. Get it closer. Uh, 
I think it's... Can't I, open my eyes. I can't see because looking through the camera. <laughs> we'll let them be the judge. So this is what it looks like after a good splash. This is the Urban Decay powder side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you do a close up? Yeah. I don't know where you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same, in the same place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just keep your face in the same angle. Okay. How's it looking? Uh, I can't, I think it's, I think it's fine actually, yeah. Ah, oh, it burns my eyes. The water? Yeah, don't touch it with your hands now because you're gonna Smudge mess up the makeup, yeah. Well, that's the whole point, see if it can stand up to the water. So try it now with, with your hands, I guess. No? Splashing? Well, no, no I feel like if you touch it with your hands, oh. your face is gonna smudge it, right? Yeah. Let's see. This is Maybelline. Maybelline mascara. Next mascara. Tiny, tiny flakes, but I don't like tiny. It's good. I can't hold my eyes. The water. You have jet ski in the video too. <laughs> I want to have waves now. I should now. get him to splash me with the jet ski. Yeah, that's the ultimate test. <laughs> jet ski proof. I think I'm gonna go get the snorkel. Oh yeah. Put the snorkel on because I noticed when I wore that lipstick the other day, it got all over the snorkel. Yeah. So we'll see if this lipstick gets all over the snorkel. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so shallow. I know, go. How's that? So, I can't really tell. I think I got some more. There's a little bit of the NARS lipstick left over on this. <laughs> but it looks like there is some lipstick that came off. Do you see any? I don't see any on my hand, though. Mm, no, I can't see it. I mean, we don't necessarily advise. Snorkeling and I'll have pink lipstick in Yeah. Yes, I really, really need to. And then, oh, makeup definitely came off on this. Sorry. Like on the inside, yeah. <laughs> makeup all over snorkel for a good cause. But yeah, definitely got makeup all over this. What about my face? Can you see where it came off? Uh, my friends used to always make fun of me because I can only open one eye when it's sunny. Uh, on the on the cheeks there, like on on top here. Yeah. Did you see where it's like removed? Yeah. Hey, can I come? You just stay in the same place, I'll, okay. I'll do it. I'm not too close now. Jeez. So, maybe not snorkel proof, but light water activity proof. So we're back here on the coast, and uh, things have never looked worse on my face. You didn't tell me how bad things looked. <laughs> Mascara is fine. But the rest of my face makeup, I don't know if you can even tell how bad it is. My eye makeup is everywhere. The eyeshadows didn't claim to be waterproof, but wow. The lipstick is fine, but I, don't, I can't really tell you like what was good and what was bad because it's kind of all bad. I do like all of those products though, but just maybe don't snorkel in them. And I also put kind of a lot of makeup on my face. So that might attribute to it sliding around. Definitely the mask did not help. I don't think much makeup can hold up against that. Because it suctions to your face. Okay, well now I'm gonna wipe it all off for shorties. <laughs> but now we know. Don't snorkel with a full face of makeup. I guess 
I'm gonna end it here on kind of a low note. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna wipe it all off with these Neutrogena wipes that I traveled with. I might leave the lipstick on and my brows. Brows are fine and mascara is fine. That's kind of what I've been wearing on the beach anyways. It's like brows, lips, and um, mascara, so. But like I said, I do really like all of these products, just in combination, that much makeup on my face on the beach is not something I would ever do, but I was kind of curious to test it out. But when I do do my waterproof tests, like with like dumping water on your face and all that kind of stuff, these things did hold up okay. I think it's just that's too much activity for makeup. Um, and I'm sure there's other things I could have done and I kind of applied it really quickly to my face, but I was just really curious to test it all out. So anyways, um, if you've missed any of my other Antigua videos, whatever is up, um, I will list it down below. And let me know if you have tried swimming with a full face of makeup, how it's gone for you. Um, I think again, without the snorkel, it would have been better, but I had to try. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.